Good morning. You guys have been asking to see Jasper. He is still doing just so good and so sweet. Say, hey, Jasper. Want to get down? Okay. <laughs> Before we get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that this video is for educational purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know. <laughs> Y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope you all have had another wonderful weekend. I hope everybody is feeling good. We are getting to the middle of October of 2021. How weird is this? All of my like 80s and 90s and 70s and 60s babies, like this is like 2021. How weird, right? Like when we get older and we end up having grandchildren one day, we're gonna be telling our grandchildren we were born in the 1900s, like how weird. Anyways, in today's video, we are gonna be doing a follow-up from last week's video on Jelani Day. A lot of you guys were sending me this over on Instagram and I just saw this actually last night. I plan on putting this video out on Monday or Tuesday when you guys are gonna see this. Um, and so I saw it on Saturday night and I, was, I don't know the words for it. <laughs> well, maybe I can figure it out by the end of this video. When I read this article, like I read the article and wow. So we're gonna go over all of that today. I'm gonna give you guys little bits of my opinions cause I'm still trying to wrap my mind around it. But other than that, we will start off with talking about Jelani's day's uh, celebration of life. His family uh, put on a celebration of life for him just recently, and there was over a hundred people that showed up, and they even did a walk or march and a release of white balloons, and they, you know, chanted justice for Jelani, and it was super sweet, and Jelani's mother has again vowed to not stop until she finds out all that happened to her son. Also, since then, some of his old, like, teachers has spoken out, including his track teacher in high school or track coach and it was so sweet so many awesome photos of Jelani was shared like this one right here with him running all of his teachers had the same exact thing to say and that was that Jelani worked very hard he was very driven towards his goals and everything he did and put his mind to he gave his best of all of it worked hard studied everything that he had to do oh my gosh you guys it's so much so if you guys watched my first video if you haven't watched it please go and watch it so you can be all caught up but if you did watch my first video you know that Jelani went missing on August 24th okay they had him the morning of August 24th showing up at his college signing into the computer under his ID, taking some notes, doing some stuff to prepare to go to clinicals later that afternoon or that evening. He had plans to meet his teacher. And then later on at 9.20 a.m., there's a photo of him walking into a dispensary, okay? That was the last place that Jelani was seen alive. The whole way that they found out that he was even at that dispensary was because of his cell phone pinging on that tower. And then his mother went and had the security camera pulled and found out that he was there that morning so August 24th he went missing September 4th his body was found so that was about 11 days the mother found out that there was a body that was found floating in the Illinois River and she did everything she could to, to match DNA and the investigators had told her that the body was so decomposed that they were having a hard time identifying him and I don't think she was probably prepared to hear what kind of condition her baby boy's body was found in. Now I'm getting ready to read to you guys the autopsy report or little snippets of it describing how his body was found. This is your trigger warning now. It is not for the faint of heart. If you are sensitive to those types of things, then maybe don't watch any more of this video. So here we go. 
After waiting nearly a month to see her son, Carmen Bolden Day is seeking scientific answers on why her son's body was so badly decomposed. According to a report by the Chicago Sun-Times, Jelani was nearly faceless. Jelani, who was reported missing on August 25th, body was discovered on September 4th and identified on September 22nd. Per the report, the corpse had no eyeballs, only eye sockets. This is believed to be the result of the body being in the river for so long. The body was missing its front top and bottom teeth and his jawbone had been sawed out. A private forensic pathologist hired by the family found that the body had no brain, no organs, no liver or spleen. The body had been severely eaten by fish and maggots and turtles. An attorney for the family says that they are still investigating while seeking scientific explanations for the state of his body. However, they are still waiting for the answer on his official cause of death. When I read that, I was like, there's no way. There is no way. I have never heard of such a thing. How many crime cases have we done where bodies have been found in a river, in a sea, in the ocean? And then and the bodies have been in there for long periods of time. It just so happens that certain that is all of his organs were missing and his jawbone had been sawed out. Who who are they saying did that? The turtles? And you guys, I watched an interview with Miss Carmen. Imagine. I just want you guys to envision my parents, my brothers, my sisters, anybody, a human, if you have a heart in you, hearing that report, like knowing that something is not right. How did his vehicle, his wallet, everything end up in, in separate areas? And this? Like, and, and, and they think that he just somehow ended up in the river, he drowned, and the animals did this to him. Now, I obviously didn't see the body. I obviously don't truly know. This is just my personal opinion. But I think somebody did something to him. I think somebody also cut out certain parts of him. Okay, it, we've heard of it happening plenty of times before. And then I think once his body was disposed of in the river, that's when I think the animals got a hold of it because then it was exposed and fluids was leaking out into the water, which would attract animals. But just a floating body, I do not believe it. I don't believe it. As badly as he was decomposed, which means he was in there with his body parts exposed for a long time. Now, what I don't understand is we haven't heard anything about his phone, okay? Was Jelani talking to somebody? Have they checked text messages? You know, did he end up going there to meet a, to meet a girl? Did he, you know, was he meeting somebody there? Jelani's mom has said very clearly that she does not believe that he would have gone to an area that he did not know anybody and that he would not have just skipped out on his classes just for the heck of it. He, he had to have been going to meet somebody, okay? Maybe he was stopping by the dispensary and picking something up for somebody else. Maybe he was picking it up for himself. I mean, he's a college student. He's handling his business. It's legal. Go off, do your thing, right? Like, but what I don't believe is that he hurt himself, threw himself in this river, and that animals did all that to him, and it's all one big coinky dink Like, if it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. And I am very concerned about this because if somebody did lure him there, okay, if somebody cut out his organs and threw his body in there and the animals, the water, the wildlife, whatever, nipped at it, they may never find out what truly happened to his body because of what the animals have done to it. I have so many questions. I think the phone is going to be a big key. If they found that his cell phone pinged off of a tower over there by the dispensary and that was the last ping, what was the last text message? What was the last call? Did Jelani have another phone that maybe other people didn't know about? You know, did Jelani, 
was he on any dating apps? You know, we don't, we haven't heard of him having like an actual girlfriend. We did hear his mom speak out and say that there was, you know, one girl that she thought that, you know, she wouldn't talk to about Jelani and was saying, what was your relationship with him? Obviously he wasn't bringing no women home. Okay. Maybe he was having college fun, you know, young, successful. Maybe he was playing the field, but something happened to this young man. Something happened to him. He did not do them do this to himself and I'm not gonna let it go neither I'm gonna follow this right along with the family because this is just crazy and imagine if this was your child like the family deserves answers I mean how do you go on after this imagine his mother if you guys watched the first video and because I'm a boy mom so boy moms all my all my mom all my mommies and daddies and grandmas and papas out there Little girls are special and perfect and wonderful. I never had one myself, but I'm a boy mom, so I'm going to obviously relate to that. Us mamas, we know how our boys are, okay? They just light up our whole entire life. And you think about Miss Carmen who said that her son called her every day. Every day she gets a text message or a phone call. She looks at her phone. It ain't Jelani. It's not going to be Jelani ever again on this earth. Imagine the pain, the hole in her heart. The holidays coming up, his birthday on Christmas. Like, I just, and then to, and then everything she went through, she reported him missing, and the cops kind of try to brush it off to her and said, oh, he's probably with some fast tail girl. Or, and she's like, no, 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 you don't understand, but you don't know my son. And then she goes, she, she files a missing police report, and she's calling everybody, and she's calling professors, and she's desperate. She knows in her heart something's wrong. Something's wrong. Her baby boy would not just not call her, not answer her phone calls, not text her back when she says, call me ASAP. She knows something is wrong. She has to do all of this investigation work. She has to go to the cell phone place and find out where his phone last pings. She has to go to the dispensary and find his picture and try to put the pieces together. She feels like she's doing this all on her own. And then on September 4th, when she hears that there was a body found floating in the Illinois River, she goes down to the police station and says, is that my son? And they say, we don't know. We can't identify the body. She goes and gives DNA. She went to the dentist and pulled his dental records because at that time she didn't realize his teeth weren't missing. But she does all this. Then she waits from September 4th to September 22nd to find out, yes, this is her son. And then she finds out what they say happened to him. No closure, no peace, no answers, just more confusion and more questions. Somebody knows something. Somebody saw something. Somebody did. One person saw something. One person knows something. One of his friends knows he was talking to somebody. Somebody knows something. And I really hope that whoever knows something will call Call a hotline, call star six, seven, call from a payphone or something and tell what they know. You can do it anonymously, but this family really deserves peace. This is bad, you guys. So what do you think? What do you think happened? Do you think that, that this is all just a big, crazy coinky dink? That he parked his car in the cut in this area, in a wooded area, and then threw his wallet somewhere and then just decided to go and throw himself in this river? And that the animals just happen to do this? Do you think all that? What do you think? Let me know in the comments section down below. Again, I'm going to put the GoFundMe, as long as it's still up, back in the description box. If you have funds and you would like, and you feel led to give a donation, whether it be a dollar or $500, you know, please do. If you cannot, do not feel bad. Never feel bad if you cannot donate money. Make sure you donate your prayers to this family because they definitely need them so as always my loves thank you guys so so much for watching this video please do not forget to like it it's a free way that you can help your girl out and until next time i love you guys so 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 very much and i'll see y'all in the next video bye love you guys bye